Cyclic alkanes are an interesting group of compounds. Let's talk about the ones that only have one ring, which we call monocyclic. The smallest of the monocyclic alkanes would be the smallest ring you can get, a triangle. We call this cyclopropane. And you'll remember from your geometry class, the angle there is 60 degrees. That would be the same around the ring. And we know that the tetrahedral angle, and after all, these are sp3 carbons, is something on the order of 109.5. Those angles don't match well. So the sp3 orbitals that are supposed to overlap to make a bond in cyclopropane don't point in the right direction. Rather than pointing right at each other and in on overlap with good overlap, the overlap is much less. So this is a much weaker bond, the sigma bond. And the term that we use for having a weaker bond in a cyclic system is angle strain. And cyclopropane has a lot of angle strain. But wait, it's even worse. If we look at a Newman projection, this three-membered ring, I've drawn two carbons in the Newman projection, and the third carbon will be here will look something like this. Here's the CH2, the third one. And this front carbon has hydrogens held like this. And so does the back. So these guys are eclipsed as well, which of course causes torsional strain No wonder cyclopropane is strained, not stable, highly reactive. The chemistry of cyclopropane is the chemistry of ring opening. Let's look at the four-membered ring. If we draw that tetrahedral angle, again it points in the wrong direction. So for the same reason, poor orbital overlap, Cyclobutane is also going to have angle strain. And if you cite down a bond in cyclobutane in a Newman projection, again we can draw the ring. Two carbons of the ring are in the Newman projection and the other two carbons of the ring are here. So that's a four carbon ring. Now we have, again, an eclipsed. So it will have the torsional strain too. Now because there are four carbons in this ring, there's a slight bit of flexibility. Of course in the three-membered ring there's no flexibility because three points determine a plane, but in the four-membered ring, because bonds can rotate there's a slight bit of flexibility. The actual slightly butane structure is a little bit different from planar. It's what people term puckered. So this angle is slightly different from 90, and that lets the torsional strain be relieved slightly. But in any case, ring is too small, the angles are wrong for tetrahedral angle, and both angle strain and torsional strain lead to a small strained ring that would like to pop open. When we get to five carbons, the internal angle is 108. The good match of the 108 degree angle with the tetrahedral angle means that there's virtually no angle strain. So a flat cyclopentane 
maximizes the torsional strain. And it, too, puckers a little bit in an attempt to relieve some of that torsional strain. So it's not perfectly flat, but it's nearly flat. And the torsional strain, owing to the eclipsed arrangement of the groups all the way around the ring, no matter which carbon pair you look at, you see an arrangement that looks exactly like this eclipsed arrangement here. So the torsional strain is significant. And the cyclopentane structure also then is a good ways from ideal. When we get to cyclohexane, that's a whole other interesting story, which I'll take up another time.